It is homemade garden salsa challenge time on the Apostle P channel. Stay tuned, guys. Rob here. It is the evening of 4 October 2013. <clears throat> we have before you this evening a batch of salsa from our garden and we're going to eat a little bit of it. Connor and I are this evening and uh, before we do that here's what's in it. I probably won't put this in the description so you might have to pause and write. It makes about a quart and a half of salsa and most of these ingredients were fresh from our garden. It is not a cooked salsa. Take five medium-sized tomatoes, dice them, and rinse them off with a sprayer in a colander in your sink to get rid of the juicy stuff because <clears throat> it makes the salsa a little chunkier to do that, not so watered down. Five whole jalapeno peppers, just have them, leave the seeds in. Two jalapeno peppers, have them, leave the seeds in. Coarsely chop one large onion. Coarsely chop one third of a cup of cilantro. About three cloves of garlic. I use the crushed stuff in the jar. The, you know, it comes in the garlicky, juicy oil stuff. Let's see what else we got in there. Oh, juice of three limes. Uh, about three table, uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Salt and pepper to taste. I think that's it. Is that it? I guess. Okay. And what you get is a pretty warm salsa, especially with the seeds in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these big old soup spoons and we're each going to take a big bite. Nothing to drink as you can see and we'll sort of describe what we're feeling. I'll go first. All right. Try to get the chunkiness. Okay, a big old bite. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. Like ketchup. What do you think? It was good. But now my mouth's on fire. You get the tomato, the lime, and the garlic at first, do you? Yep. Nice and then what do you feel? Fixed. Hot. Hot? Hot? Feel. Yes. What, what kind of a burn is it? I don't know. I can't explain it. It's Whole good. mouth? Yes. Whole mouth. <clears throat> Is on fire. Yeah. You might have to, have to speak up. Does it it's kind of hard. Does it get in your throat? Yep. It's going there right now. Is it? We'll just sit here for a few minutes and see. Oh, are your sinuses draining? Yeah. My nose is getting clear now. Yeah. How about you? Well, <clears throat> I just think it's really good. There's a little salt and a little black pepper in there. I can still taste the black pepper. The, the combination of jalapenos and habaneros just gives a nice, warm, full mouth burn without being painful. Um, what, are you in pain? A little bit, not too much. <laughs> are you dying for some milk? Not really. No? Glass of water would be good. So. I'm not feeling like, well, a little bit, a little bit sweaty, I guess, but... Not like an endorphin rush or anything. Yeah. It doesn't make me want to puke. 
Your last batch was hot either. Well, yeah, this we kind of toned this batch down for a social church social last Sunday night. I think our first batch was a little hotter, but yeah, those proportions do. will do well for a family reunion or, you know, somewhere where people like a little heat, but they don't want to kill themselves. As I said, not a cooked salsa. I make this in quart and a half batches. Don't freeze it. And we eat it in about a week. Uh, the lime juice is the only acid I use. No vinegar. I like the lime a little better. Uh, if I went through the ingredients too fast or you wonder about something I might have left out, just uh, hit us up in the comments. How you feeling? Pretty good. It's just pure burn now, isn't it? Yeah. No more taste left. <laughs> nope. <laughs> is, is it building a little bit? Kinda. It's kinda staying constant right now. You need to wash it down with some of that ghost pepper sauce? No, I'll be fine. You should put that in this sometime. Yeah. To make it really You're gonna fun. live though, huh? Yep. Alright. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp and the salsa is hot. Yes. <laughs>